Hi friends, welcome to the Share, Invite, Proclaim channel. My name is Judy. Now this is in the children's literature section, um, and I want to continue with the series on the grumpy monkey. And as you can see, Anthony really used this book, and he also used it at a time when he was in his sticker mood. But it's a story about uh, Jim, the little monkey, and his friend, Normand, the monkey in the ape, who is Norman, Jim and Norman. Anthony liked this story pretty much uh, as a three-year-old and as an early four-year-old. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. Look at that face. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, the bananas were too sweet. And Jim was confused. What's going on, he said. <laughs> um, maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman. Norman lived next door. I'm not grumpy. Look at that face. <laughs> On his walk, he met Marabou, this little guy right there, Marabou. Jim's grumpy, said Norman. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, said Jim, well, look how, let me come over here. Look how you're standing. Look at your face. So Jim loosened up. They're continuing on their walk and Norman meets Lemur. Why are you grumpy? Jim asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. <laughs> Your eyebrows look grumpy. It's true, said Norman. They're all bundled up. Here he is, right there. Couldn't find him. His eyes are all bundled up. And of course, Jim says, I'm not grumpy. Finally, Jim looked happy. Now, does that look like a happy Jim? <laughs> he's pretending, he's, he's pretending. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. I'll get the birds in here. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. Where is he? There he is on the rock. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. Look at Norman. Norman's face, whoops. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Where's these zebras? You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. But Jim didn't feel like strolling or rolling. You should be in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You're all, all his friends are telling him what he should be doing on this beautiful day. You should take a bath. Where'd this? Yeah, you should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone and look at the snake hugging someone ready to eat him. You should laugh. That's a laughing hyena. And you should take a nap, says the alligator. <laughs> And you should eat old meat, like the scavenger, or some honey, said the bear, or jump up and down, said the frog, or should be in the sun, or should, or should dance, said the porcupine. And he 
again, they're all telling him what to do. He should enjoy this beautiful day. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. There they all are, talking to him. But Jim didn't feel like doing anything. I'm not grumpy, says Jim. Look at that face. He's not grumpy. And he stormed off from his friend. He stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed, and just as he was starting to feel really bad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter, said Jim. Are you grumpy? Let's see where Jim Norman is doing. Look how sad Norman is. I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Let's look at these little things out, out, of, out of his bottom. <laughs> well, are you okay, asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman, and Jim agreed. You know, sometimes we're all, all a little grumpy. And he already felt a little better himself. Sometimes it's just a grumpy day. Anthony enjoyed that, that uh, story. Got to read it to him many times. Well, thanks for watching.